Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Grave Visitations here. So today I'm in Rackheel in County Limerick and we're here today to visit this old Church of Ireland church here in the town. Now the church um, was built in 1831 and it was built by the Payne brothers. Uh, there was a site of an old church actually on the grounds here as well from the 13th century. Uh, I think one of the Payne brothers, there was two of them, George and James. One of them was a, an apprentice to John Nash, the famous architect. A video I did back in Care and Tipperary is on my channel. He designed many um, buildings in London and Buckingham Palace. But today we're going inside here to have a look at these old graves. And there's a couple of graves here from the Palatine community as well. And they came to Ireland here in about 1702 um, and originate from Germany. So we'll go in and have a look. We can see the hints of spring here as we enter the church here in Rakeel. So this is the entrance here to the, the old church. So there's a, a number of very interesting graves here and the name of the church is Holy Trinity Graveyard. So we're here today to have a look around here and it's a beautiful old church. We have these huge steps going up into the church area. So we will start guys um, and make our way up this pathway here which takes us actually all the way around the old graveyard there and we can see all that frost we had a lot of frost last night so you can see that on the grass there now the the graves here are, are old some of them date back as far as the 17 early 1700s And these are just the stone tombs here that are overgrown. But just here in front of us as we enter is uh, the family vault. And uh, the Massey family vault it is. And as far as I know, this vault was actually you know there's no entrance so it would have been closed up now it does say just on it here in heavenly love abiding prudence massey died 11th of december 2007 and hugh massey died 2nd of october 2012 so hugh massey would have been the last person to be interred in the family vault here and i'm presuming that they just closed up the entrance to the vault when uh, the last member of the family was interred here and that would have been the entrance just there you would have had your door just beyond that that uh, inscription there so we'll read the inscription that's on it here and it says this monument was erected by um jason maybe J-A-S, now that could be Jason, James, or James, maybe, I think James Fitzgerald, James Fitz Massey, Esquire, uh, of Stone, Stoneville, of Glock, Narled, and now Lord was in my hope, truly my hope is ever in thee. Now if I just try and go over around, and read 
the other inscription here to perpetuate the memory of his family from generation, generation to, ge to generation. So that's the, the family vault there of the Massey family. 1877 is the date on it. And you can just see the back of the, the vault there. You can see the barrel shape, barrel shape vaults, I think they're called. And you can see the back of it there. So guys, we'll continue up along. Now there's old plaques on the wall in there as well, so you can see how overgrown they are. Now the grass is cut here and it's kept, but this one is Thomas O'Hogan, erected to the memory of his daughter, Sarah Hogan, who departed this life the 6th of October, 1809, aged 22 years old. Seventeen hundreds. Erected by George Halloran in memory of his father, John, who departed this life in the year 1787, aged 61 years old, and his brother Morris, who died in 1789, aged 20 years old. So that's a uh, memorial plaque on the wall there from the 1700s. So I'll just give you a better view of the old graveyard there. And it's beautiful with all that frost on it. And that gorgeous church, look at that. And Rack Hill here. There's actually um, a school that's attached to the old graveyard here. And it's um, a school for Church of Ireland children in the community here. Now it's the first time I've seen a school for Church of Ireland children. There's a beautiful old one here with the crucifixion scene on it. Look at this guys. Wow. It's lovely to come across these old crucifixion ones and it's erected by Mrs. Egan of Rakeel in memory of her beloved daughter. Um, Sheehan, Sheehan, Sheeran maybe, 1845, who died in July 1845. But isn't that a beautiful example there of carved headstones and the work that went into them i-n-r-i at the top of it so the pathway here is all leaves and moss and muck dirty and I'm wearing my good runners today. I need to get wellies, guys. So we have this one here as well. Now, this is a strange formation here, the way this is built. And I don't know if this was put together by people. You know, it could fell apart and did you put it back together like that? Or was it built originally like that? Now, it could be original. So that's all that stone there, in that grave. So in here we have a, a huge headstone here that fell over, or broke. Yeah, it's smashed. And I don't know if it's attached. Is it attached to that one there? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's not. Yeah. These ones are, are, are um, erected by William 
Hanrahan in memory of his nephew Gabriel who departed this life the 17th of November 1797 a year before the rebellion age 20 years old and there's that big one there a huge headstone look at that and it's broken away and fallen over and uh, I'm going to go around the other side and seek. It says underneath are the pods that the remains. So underneath are deposited the remains of John Esquire. Poor. Eighteen. Uh, there's a date down there. Eighteen fifty-six. Eighteen fifty-six. So it's an Esquire. Look. John Hill. Look. Something is that law inspector. I'll have to get around here, guys, and read this. This is interesting. Um, you can just see there it says poor law, but the, there's a the start to that word, so whatever that word is, L something poor law inspector. Poor law, I just moved that. Poor law inspector. 1800s there look at that 18 maybe 30 56 or 30 the trees look like fives in those inscriptions so that's uh, an interesting one there wow wow poor law inspector i've never heard of that so there's the graveyard and it's overgrown on this part of it here uh, and the other side of it just over there is uh seems to be maintained um, but we will get around and see as much as we can. Beautiful crossing here, guys. We'll try and get in and look. To the memory of my dear parents, John and Mary Evans. Died October 1888. Also, my sister, Hanny, died August 24th, um, 1922, erected by Maggie Evans. Beautiful old grave there. So, I'll squeeze out through here, guys. So, we have. Um, bit of damage here guys like storm damage maybe we can see this tree here has fallen over and knocked over all the wrought iron railing here that goes around this grave and uh, look at that it's all damaged and we have crows all over the place here so I'm going to go around the old tree here and give you a better look and there's the, the headstone there that has crashed and fallen over. And all that wrought iron railing has fallen down. Sad to see this old grave in that state. Um, I'm going to try and read what it says on the headstone. Now it might need a little bit of a clean. So I'll try and clean it and come back. So the name on this one here, guys, I was having a look at it, is uh, Julius Dahl Mace, who died in 1848, and he was an Esquire. Um, that's as much as I know about that now, but um, there might be something online, I don't know. If there is, I'll put it up. If, but um, that's the damage to the headstone there. And all that wrought iron railing. Look at it, it's lovely, though. Huge grave. We have um, old graves down in here in the corner. See, can we read this one? John Toohey erected this stone in memory of his dear friend, Mr. James Lee, who lies here 
interred with his wife and son. Departed this life October the 23rd, 1825, aged 53 years old. So somebody erected that for their friend and the family. So that was very nice of that person to put up that headstone for the family. So this is what we're we're dealing with here today. All this old area here in the graveyard, overgrowth. Load of old graves here, guys. And uh, some here from the Palatine community, I was explaining to you at the start of the video, in memory of Samuel Plummer, who died on the 27th of June, 1867, aged 34. Erected by John M. Schwitzer of Court Matrix. Now the name Court Matrix might sound like something from a movie, but Court Matrix is actually the name of an area here in Limerick. And by looking at Court Matrix, you think it's something got to do with a court or something. Uh, now there is a, a castle nearby here in Rakhil called um, Castle Matrix. But uh, that's one of the graves there, guys, that of the name, the Palatine yeah. family families that came over here to settle, and that's one of them there, John M. Switzer. So that's a, a member of the Palatine community. Um, just over here we have sacred to the memory of Julia. The beloved daughter of Ernest Switzer, so there's that name again, of Court Matrix, who departed this life the 28th of July, 1845, and she was only 20 years old, Julia. And she has a beautiful headstone, look at that. We have um, carving there of a woman in a dress. Now maybe that could be from um, the Palatine community. You can see the shoes there and all at the bottom of it. Could be the dress code they had that time. Um, it was a beautiful headstone. Here's where it gets mucky. This is where it gets bad here, yeah. There's a teapot on this grave here, guys. And it's not a bad day to have a cup of tea to warm ourselves up. It's cold today. An old teapot left on top of the, the grave here. So we're trying to get around as, as much as we can and it's very, very mucky. John Fought, F-A-U-G-H-T, erected this stone in the memory of his beloved son, uh, Lawrence, who departed this life in June the 1st, 1817, aged 30 years old. And uh, look at that design on top of this for his son. He erected this uh, lovely headstone here. And there's a skull and crossbones on it. And an angel. An angel looks like it's playing a bugle. And we've heard about the angels playing the beautiful sounds. The bugles in heaven. And there's a beautiful one there. Look at that. It's amazing. And you can almost see he has something like a hat on there. And the wings and all on it. Beautiful headstone. Now Sue has just found something here for me. Two. Two. Pesky, the surname, but this one and the one behind it. Wow. Look at that. Another one, guys, with this angel. 
and the bugle on it. That's Look amazing. at that. That is me. I've never come across one like this before. Either of us, I think, never. have never come across this stone carving design here. Look at that. And we see the designs on the side of it. This stone was erected as a token of conjugal affection by Catherine Teske. To remember her beloved husband, Jacob Teske, who departed this life the 3rd of June, 1795, age only 47. Look at that, 1700s, 1795. And that beautiful carving on that, look at that. Isn't that amazing? And you might see it better with the torch there, the facial expression and everything. But there's one in behind here, Sue was saying, and... Uh, Unfortunately, it's it's like after fall. falling over on its side. So we might be able to see much of it. But I'll try and turn the gimbal so you can get a better look. And there we go, guys, down the bottom. Look, this one is actually, it almost looks like a leprechaun. Doesn't it? Yeah, he's holding it. He's holding um, an hourglass, and there's an angel underneath him. He's holding an hourglass. Now, what I might be able to do is screenshot this, and maybe turn the photo around in a position that we'll be able to see it better and put it over the video. But um, I bet you the moon. Look at that face there as well. Let's see, we have the sun here. Or actually, just you know something. It's like a sunflower. A sunflower. So, wonder. An hourglass he's holding in his hand, and we have this. Uh, Strange looking face here as well. Look at that. It's like an angel though. It has wings. It has wings. Wow. And you can see he's he's a full body there in it. And a hat. That's amazing, isn't it? Wow. And it was erected by Henry in memory of his beloved. Beloved uh, Eliza who departed this life on the 5th. Uh, 1814. 1814. And the age is down the bottom of there. And she was only oh, 12 years that? old. Oh. oh, guys, there's bones in there, is there? What? Look there. Oh, there is. There's a bone there, guys. Look at that. It's animal. I don't know if it's animal. Yeah. Um, age 12 years old. So we have Eliza, who's buried here. She was only 12 years old and died in 1814. And they erected a beautiful oh, headstone for I little see. Eliza. It's buried here, and it's a pity that it's fallen over like I'd that. I'd say it has these part headstones. Of the storm or whatever has. Yeah. These headstones that are here, in places like this, I love finding because they're hidden, and I don't think people even actually come up here to this part of the old graveyard like and look at these old stone carvings, works of art, is what they I are. I wonder is Teske one of the. The Palatine name could be... Teske could have been, yeah, because... Yeah, um, now, the, the, the Palatines settled in... Um, back in the early 1700s, they settled in places like uh, Limerick, Wexford, um, Kerry as such, Whoa, and parts of Ireland. Um, oh my goodness, what is that? What is that, guys? Oh, that goes right in under the ground. This must be a vault here. In bad condition, is it? You can find where you're walking. Must be a vault, guys. Look at that. It's a huge hole there. It goes actually under that way. Wow, look at that. It goes all the way back across. Over there. It actually goes this way, look. And I'm just trying to show you. The best view oh, I can. Oh wow, it goes right in under there, Carl. If you Does it? This way, yeah. And just be careful where you're going because you put me down. Wow, look here. Mine now, because that could give way. I don't really know what's under your feet though. Um, I'm trying to give you a view, guys. Oh look. wow, it's right down under there. Wow, the it's a vault. Oh my goodness. I might take the camera off the gimbal here, guys. The phone, sorry, off the gimbal. Wow. And get a better look in here.
It's so right, guys. I'm going to try and hold the phone this way and give you a better look inside with the torch, and hopefully we pick up something in there. Um, very hard to maneuver. But that goes way under the ground, guys. Look at that. Way under the ground there. Oh, I bet you'd find... So that's a, a vault. Yeah. Or an old crypt, I'd say. Look at that. And if anybody sees anything in that, let me know. But that's the old crypt. I don't seem to see any remains there. Now, it could be going further back. But it looks like it's huge. Right guys, so we were looking in there and it's an old crypt and has a tunnel going all the way back. Now what we're thinking of is, well just before I go ahead, a bird just pooed on top of my jacket as I was looking in there. So I don't know, is that a sign of luck to say here in Ireland? Um, now, I think it could be connected to this stone slab here. And it does kind of build it up. And it does, yeah. It's connected like it's... This if you look at the hole, it's just there, guys. So it's connected back to here. So we'll read this inscription. So this tomb was erected by... The... The... Something. Or is it that Reverend? Reverend David Burke. 1759. Here light the body of James Burke. Then it's just gone nearly, isn't it? So we have a James Burke that's buried here. Now we don't know for sure, but I'm just figuring because there's nothing. Oh, I... hold on, there's another tomb there. So, I don't know, it's strange the way it's set up, isn't it? Yeah, we have um, another tomb here that's covered in leaves and muck, but... Yeah, it's hard to know. But definitely goes that one definitely goes back guys yeah it does all the way kind of under here it's a cool find to yeah, find that is. crypt and um, we were actually up here last night we're looking at the and we walked around here in the dark last night just having a quick look and uh it's a good job we didn't fall into that hole and, and we, we didn't see a lot of the stones because it was so dark we couldn't see a lot of those no but um it's amazing to see I'll try and read a couple of more what I can and uh, see how we go. Whoa, see that's it's so dangerous walking here. So it's dangerous guys here so I'll take my time and go around. I'm going to just make my way over here because there's one or two old ones here as well. Um, And just get the torch. I'm sinking. <laughs> Sue was like something from the you'd see in the Amazon. <laughs> I'm sinking into this whatever this is on the foot. It's like I don't know, it's horrible. So this was erected by Mrs. Catherine. Um Mac something, is it? Mac something in memory of her husband, William who departed this life in 1813, age 59 years old. It's actually not that bad here. It was worse here last night. And um, when we came out of here last night, I was going to do an actual video here last night in the dark, but I think it's better to see this place in daylight and all it has to offer. Look at that beautiful church. But what about those graves, the headstones, with the angels and the hourglass? And I love finding stuff like that. So here we have this big, large monument. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can see an inscription on it here. No, it's very hard to read that, guys. Um, very, very hard to read the name of that. James O'Shea, I can see the other side there, 1925. So it must be the O'Shea family that's buried there. Yeah, so um, a beautiful day for a walk in a lovely old graveyard. 
more history uncovered here in Ratkeel, County Limerick. A beautiful area here. Um, I'm going to go over here, guys. There's just a few that catch my eye, and I just have to read them. And it's very important when you're doing these videos, you know, that you read inscriptions because I see a lot of people just breeze past headstones and they don't even read inscriptions on them. So it's a waste of time going someplace if you're not going to read inscriptions because these people have to be remembered. Look at this, guys. We have the crucifixion scene here. And uh, an angel with wings again. Look at the face. Another angel there. We have Jesus on the cross. And this is Mary Whitaker erected the stone in memory of her beloved husband, James Whitaker, who departed this life in 1821, aged 60 years old. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous, guys? Look at that. Beautiful headstone. And here we have another one here. We have like sunflowers maybe either side. We have this beautiful stone carving of an angel here again. And this is erected by James Whittaker, I think again, for his brother of his brother John Johns, who departed this life on the twentieth. Seventeen ninety two, I think, is the date on that. Aged um, thirty four years old. Wow! Look at that, guys. An angel carving on that beautiful old graveyard. Stunning. You just don't see those types of headstones anymore. People making them. Old as gold, as I always say. They're the best. And this is to the memory of Joseph Kennedy, medical student, who departed this life in Dublin on the 26th of April, 1870, aged 20 years old. Wow. Much esteemed and regretted by his fellow students. May, his, may he rest in peace. This monument is here, erected by his father, Michael Kennedy, as a tribute of affection to his beloved son. So we have a medical student buried here who was only 20 years old, who died in Dublin in 1870, a medical student, wow. And a beautiful Celtic cross erected for the young man. We have a cross just up against the wall here on its own. And there's no inscription on it, unfortunately. So there's all the old headstones here in Holy Trinity Church and Graveyard in Rakeel and this one sadly here just has this kind of tin surrounding around it here the grave we have more of these beautiful ones here our Lord on the cross looks like skull and crossbones there Beautiful. Erected by Daniel O'Connell in memory of his son Patrick, who departed this life on the 15th of May, 1824, aged 42 years old. We 
We've another headstone here, guys, a beautiful one. Um, you can see there's those the angels again. And it looks like he has the weighing scales. A scales, the scales of life, I think they call it. Those scales. You can see here he's he's bl blown this um, bugle, the bugle. I think it's a bugle. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's a bugle. And here, look. And a skull here and crossbones on it as well. You can see the frost is glistening on it. It's actually frozen to touch. Yeah. So here lies the body of Dennis, Dennis Reardon, who departed this life on April the 16th, 1806, age 80 years old. So that's a great age in the 1800s. Would have had the scene of the crucifixion as well. It's gone discoloured here, the, but with two the angels black on it, well. but we can see the there crucifixion the scene. These are angels. And they're the same ones angels we were face. looking at there, at that one next door. And the angel's face there again on it. The black has come over that. The black lichen, or lichen, has come over on it. Yeah, so... There's a cross on this headstone here, like it's someone... Flowers or something. Someone added a cross to this design. Look at that. And that's actually made from... Um, Are the porcelain? It's kind of like, you know, uh, what you call it? Maybe Immortals. It's, oh, it is. It's like, um, wow, it's, yeah, it's porcelain. I thought it was actually fake flowers. No, it's porcelain. To touch, wow, you know, the beautiful. soft. Fake flowers. And uh, Mary Goulding died March the 10th, 1903, aged 82. Beautiful grave. Um, really old one here as well. Look at that. P, it says on it there, P something, just initials. Um, so some a lot of those old graves you see there just have the initials of the person on the headstone. Yeah, there's a lot of marks. So it could be like here. P, O, so that could be Patrick O'Reilly or something yeah. like that. So they, they never put the full name or the date on it, just in the, the initials. That church is gorgeous, yeah. And the sun is shining here. But it's freezing. Early in the morning. It's actually not that bad now when you're walking around. You get warmed up. Two With two wet feet like a duck. But that's what you have to do to get around to find these interesting, beautiful places. Right, guys. So I'm going to finish the video up here. And uh, thanks for coming along on this walk here in this beautiful old graveyard here. Uh in Rackheel in County Limerick. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. It's free to subscribe. Um, give the video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. The notification bell lets you know when I upload another video. Um, I've lots of interesting videos from all over Ireland and the UK on my channel. I have a playlist on my channel also. So check that out. So from me here guys, in this beautiful old graveyard, until the next time, take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon.